welcome to Creative Bath Lab. I'm going to show you the easiest way to make whipped soap. It's called whipped soap, but this fluffy soap doesn't require any whipping or a lot of work or many ingredients for that matter. Only two ingredients are needed to make the soap itself. It's beautiful, easy to make, and produces a ton of suds, foam, and lather. Choose a high quality bar of soap like the one shown here. Um, I also included a melt and pour soap recipe in the description. The SCS is optional. It adds additional foam and lather. The steric acid is also optional. It makes the frills on the swirls a bit more pronounced, but you can definitely make it without it. Boil the soap for a few minutes to make sure everything is dissolved. The soap will thicken as it cools. Use an ice bath for faster cooling. A preservative is recommended to extend the shelf life. I also added fragrance oil. The soap should be really thick once it's fully cooled, so thick that if you turn the spoon, it doesn't fall off, it just stays in place. To color the soap, I added a bit of color powder made with dye to the water. Click the icon for the tutorial. To make multicolored swirls, layer a small amount of each color on top one another in the piping bag. If you mess up, just wipe it off and start over. I'm using cotton candy eco-friendly glitter from Fizz Fairy. This stuff is beautiful. I feel like I could put it on anything and everything. The soap dries firm in just 12 hours, but it doesn't dry rock hard. The longer it sits out, the drier it'll become. A 
Okay, so initially I just wanted to make soap that could be piped. I really wasn't concerned with performance or anything, but I was absolutely blown away by how great the soap works. I made the cupcake bath bomb look like Funfetti cake mix, if any of you are familiar with that. Uh, the bath bomb recipe is in the description, and in a minute, I'm gonna show you what the little color pebbles, or those little, the little color dots are. To make this a bubble bath frosting recipe, simply add one to two ounces of SLSA or a different bubble maker to the recipe. This type of bubble bath works best if you put it in a loofah, then hold it under running water. This is the ice cream mold. It is super easy to use. It is linked in the description along with uh, a 10% off discount code. If you'd like to see a tutorial on it, please comment below. Here are the color pebbles. The first batch I made were much too fragile. Um, the latest batches are much stronger and almost indestructible. As soon as I finalize the recipe, I will make that tutorial. By the way, I can't decide on a name. I was thinking color pebbles, rainbow rocks, or color pops, you know, something cute and clever. Which one do you think works best? Or also, if you think of a name, comment below. You can even make a body scrub base with this recipe. To do so, simply add more water and or less soap. Then add exfoliants. Which one is your favorite? I think the ice cream cones are too cute. The only issue would be patch packaging them. For this project, I definitely recommend buying the containers with lids. Those are also linked in the description. Thanks for joining me.